This is a big one. Trauma and perception. Everyone's dealt with some kind of trauma, right? An event or a series of events that was shocking, uh, maybe as a child or even as an adult, and kind of made your 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 mind sort of leave your body in lots of ways and, and, and leave your body by itself to go through the event because it was too tough to think about what was going on, right? So we've all experienced something like that, something shocking in that way, some of us more extreme ways than others. And for everyone, their way of perceiving the world has been uh, shaped in some sort of way by that traumatic event, even if they don't know it has been. And even if it's been in a subtle way, maybe the way we react to certain people or the people we date, not so subtle, obviously, <laughs> or, uh, you know, the things we the things we buy, the people that we hang out around, whatever uh, it may be, uh, it's going to be influenced by the trauma that we've experienced. And some of us can work through that trauma and some of us are still doing it and some of us haven't ever addressed it, you know. But if you haven't looked at um, the things that you've gone through in the past, there are many reactions that you're experiencing that you will not understand. Um, and I know in the past, when I had a hard time with my anger, I'd have these explosions and I couldn't understand why. It wasn't something I wanted to do, but it was as if it was compulsive. It was as if I was reacting to a full frontal on all of, it was as if I, it was as if I was reacting to a full-on frontal assault and I had just had to hit back as hard as I could, you know. And I knew that came from me being uh, the youngest at home, the smallest, and uh, living in that neighborhood and being scared uh, pretty much all the time. <laughs> uh, whether it was in the neighborhood or on the school bus or at school, we had to be ready to fight at any moment, you know, sometimes fighting in the classrooms, in the lunch rooms, you know, at recess, <laughs> pretty much all the time. So uh, that had me on edge for many, many, many years. Um, and uh, I had to work through it, you know. So um, understand that uh, your trauma will affect your reactions um, and the way you see the world. And they're affecting the way other people see the world. So. That's going to help you with your compassion and your empathy, knowing that other people are reacting the way they are because of something they've experienced in the past. So, and we've all experienced something. See you in the next session.